Draupadi, a tribal woman and former governor of Jharkhand, Draupadi Murmu, is all set to be India's next president. The numbers are clearly on her side. After voting ended today, the results will be declared on the 21st of July. So today, across party lines, there was over 99% voting. The Prime Minister voted, Sonia Gandhi voted, uh, the Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman, who's COVID positive, came in a PP suit to vote. Ex-Prime Minister Manmohan Singh came in a wheelchair. But the results seem to be a foregone conclusion. Voting to choose India's 15th president in these indirect elections, where over 4,000 MPs and MLAs across the country voted on Monday. Prime Minister Narendra Modi was the first person to vote in Parliament, followed by his colleagues in the Cabinet and other MPs, while MLAs voted in their respective assemblies across the country. With numbers stacked in her favour after like-minded parties, BJD and YSR Congress, and also Shiv Sena and Jharkhand Mukti Morcha extended support, ruling BJP-led NDA's candidate Draupadi Murmu is all set to become the first tribal woman president of the country. एक हमारी बहन जनजाति समाज से आने वाली अब राष्ट्रपति बनेंगी उत्साह से उनके पक्ष में मध्य प्रदेश में वोट हो रहा है और मैं तो यही अपील करूंगा कि दलगत सीमाओं से भी ऊपर उठ के हम अंतर आत्मा की आवाज पर अपना वोट करें Yashwant Sinha, who is contesting as the joint opposition candidate against Draupadi Murmu, called this an existential battle for democracy. ये चुनाव मैंने बार-बार जोर देके कहा है कि बहुत महत्वपूर्ण है क्योंकि आने वाले दिन दिनों में ये दिशा तय करेगा कि भारत में प्रजातंत्र बचेगा या धीरे-धीरे करके समाप्त हो जाएगा. On the same day, Jagdeep Dhankar. Former governor of West Bengal and ruling NDA's candidate filed his nomination for the vice president polls. भारत के लोकतंत्र के लिए ये एक मेजर माइलस्टोन मानता हूँ कि साधारण किसान का बेटा आज नॉमिनेशन कर कर आया है। मैं माननीय प्रधानमंत्री का कर्तव्य हूँ, लीडरशिप का कर्तव्य हूँ। well, the opposition parties have jointly announced Margaret Alwa as their candidate for the vice president polls. TMC, which played an active role in naming Yeswan Sinha for the presidential elections, is tight-lipped on its support for Margaret Alwa. Party sources say that the decision whether to support Alwa will be taken in the meeting on July 21st. With camera person Ashwini Mehra, this is Arvind Gunasekar for NDTV.